Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and I'm just bringing you a quick, quick video um, for the cell banner. Uh, now, I just want to pre-state before I get into this, I am basing all my information off of what happened on the JP side. What happened on the JP side might not happen on the global side. The rates could be different. Cell could be available on other banners. I just want to get into it so that way we could at least go based off of what happened in the past on the JP side and predict what could happen on the global side. So with that disclaimer being said, let's go ahead and talk about the Cell banner and which banners he will be on after his banner is done. So his banner is really not going to be too amazing unless you are a brand new player. He does have some good cards on there. He has obviously his card. He has Omega Shenron. He has the Dokkan exclusive Vegeta, the one with the 80% damage reduction. You have Gogeta. You have the original Strength Broly, the original Tech Cell. You have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You have the Omega Shenron, the physical Omega Shenron. Um, you have another, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Intelligence Perfect Cell, and the Tech Cell, the one that Dokkan's the first form cell. So with that being said, if you are a brand new player and you i mean it's kind of a difficult decision to say because you have the super saiyan fours right around the corner that have really good rates and really good specials that are going on assuming they follow jp um this doesn't have bad cards in it whatsoever i would still say to hold off because cell is available on two other banners in the future now it might be tempting to pull on him but he does have a low pull rate 0.75 and all the other characters that I mentioned all have under a 0.7 rate uh, most of them being at 0.5 so that, that's the thing that kind of stings about having so many cards on one banner is the rates are lower to a point where you almost won't be able to pull them like the overall rate for instance for the Gogeta was at 0.34 uh, that's not that great and Omega Shenron was at 0.59 or almost 0.6 so it's really not that great of a banner to pull on, in my opinion. The uh, average SSR pull of based off of the JP version was at 8.5%. Now, if this is updated or if anything changes, I'll be doing a video on that. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the next banner he is on. The next banner is the 120 Physical Korra event. The SSR pull rate on this overall is to 10%. Uh, obviously, the main uh, banner card that you want to go for is the Korra. I personally am still going to wait and not pull on this banner because I'm going to do go for the Janemba banner um, where the Physical Korra is also available. But he is available nonetheless at a 0.7 rate, the same rate as he was available on on his banner, 0.7. So um, that's worth it. The Korra banner also has obviously the Korra, the full power freezer, the merge Samasu, physical 70% Broly, and the tech, the original tech Korra, the final form Korra. Um, also, I believe um, you have this uh, Salza who gets Dokken Awakening as well. I don't know why, but whatever. He has a 10% rate, so he will flood that banner. <laughs> if you don't have Salza, this is the one that you go for. But Cell will be available here. And then the next banner, and this is the one that I plan on doing all my summons on, except for maybe the agility one. Um, the Agility 120 banner with the Super Android 17, because he also has a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, this banner has sell at a 0.7 rate as well. This one also has the Janemba, the Goku Black, Super Saiyan Mass, uh, Mass Bardock, um, Merge Zamasu, Omega Shenron, the Physical Korra, and the uh, Janemba, the Agility Fat Janemba that Dokken Awakens. Um, so this is the banner where I would say that you should go and wait for if you are free to play or if you're trying to conserve money or stones, uh, you're going to have the ability to pull him here. And on top of that, you have a lot of other, you have the Goku Black if you don't have him, you have the Mass Saiyan Bardock, you have Janemba, you have Merge and Moss. like everyone here is a great unit. All the banner card, all the feature units on the banner card are really good. They have a 10% pull rate and each one has about, well, an SSR has a 10% pull rate and the banner SSR, each one has about a 0.7. There's one, two, three, four, five six seven of them so you have a really decent rate at getting a banner ssr uh, i mean if you want to pull on the, the cell of banner go feel free to do it i'm not telling you that you that not to do it and i'll you know cast you out of the local community if you do it i'm just saying if you're trying to conserve stones or if you don't want to spend money on a banner um to wait because he will be available in the future he's also not going to be relevant until janemba comes out because by the time you get cell you have about less than a month before the Super Saiyan 4s come out, assuming they come out in July for the two-year anniversary. Everyone's going to be running a hero strength super team. You know, no one's going to be running a villain team, and no one's going to be running um, a mono strength team without one of the Super Saiyan 4s. I mean, when I played uh, the JP side, the reason I actually got really into it was because I pulled both uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. 
everyone had them as their leaders. But that's it, guys. I just want to let you know they, uh, that Cell is going to be available both on the Cooler and the Janemba banner. Um, I would wait till the Janemba banner personally because that's the only time he becomes relevant. Uh, but that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next video.